We're here live at the Young Innovators Program, and I'm here at the Games for Ed booth, where there are thousands of students that are stopping by to not only play games like Minecraft and then to check out tablets, but I have a very special student from New Jersey. This is Anastasia. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. And you're here to learn all about video games because you play video games in your class, don't you? Yeah. It's so much fun. We get to create them using, um, we have an Xbox. We use Minecraft, Bitcraft. You can use Minecraft to educate in a way that like helps kids um, learn about school, but while using video games at the same time. It's a, one of the most prominent sandbox games ever. Actually, one thing that I always find compared to Minecraft, and I agree with this, is Legos. It does teach kids valuable life lessons. Like, it can teach kids the value of teamwork, for example. And so what kinds of things do you do on Minecraft? Usually I will either build, going creative, and going creative, or trying to find the Ender Dragon. You use blocks to build anything you want. Like the the only limit is your like imagination. It should be classified as an educational game. Like just because somebody can die in a game doesn't mean that it's non-educational. Since I played Assassin's Creed, I learned about all these amazing events in history. Like. I barely knew anything about the Renaissance before I played Assassin's Creed 2. Mm -hmm. I also knew very little about the Crusades, so, and, now, and now I'm in history and I'm really paying attention now, and I love learning about all these ways of how humanity has failed and succeeded mm -hmm. and done all these crazy things. World of Warcraft is based after like the triad of different roles in which um, you do group activities. So really right from the get-go, it's a collaborative effort. I think it's great that people can help each other when, um, when just doing anything with technology and it really helps uh, character improve and people are really good with interacting one another through technology. Uh, one of the great things of being with an organization like Office Depot is that we don't just work in one track like the technology or we don't work in the curriculum. We have fantastic partnerships with majority of organizations. We got plenty of products. But what it allows us to do is really come in and have those key discussions to really understand what are the challenges that an organization is trying to overcome. So often we use these words like 21st century classroom or blended learning. And, and we usually start out the conversation with what does blended learning mean to you? What does uh, your 21st century classroom, what do you think it looks like? The whole design thinking process is really the most important thing that we can teach our students today in terms of technology. How do things work? How do you take them apart? How do you make them better? If that, that's the kind of world that they're going to be living in, and that's what game-based learning can teach them in terms of doing uh, computer programming, designing. It's all about solving a problem. So as a teacher, what I do is I try to design meaningful experiences that use games. There's free range parenting, right, which is a reaction to that, where kids may go to the park by themselves, which seems shocking now. You know, when I grew up, we would just go to the park with our friends. So, you know, a lot of collaboration is almost forced onto online games, and that's where a lot of play happens. I kind of grew up on the internet a little bit. I grew up with a lot of internet friends, and through WoW or through games, you can make lifelong friendships. So in my class, kids get to explore different areas like graphic design and animation, coding, sound engineering, and ultimately develop teams and where collaboration is at, at the center. Making sure kids know there's many different aspects to game development. It's not just one person you know, coding. I think that's really important, especially you know, as I work in the industry, we have content, products, design, technical, marketing. What motivates them is the mechanics of the game. They get, they get excited about trying to accomplish something. Now, that's the heart of game-based learning. You know, playing is very important. It's open, it's collaborative. Let, let them do things, let them experience things, let them look outside the box. So uh, I think this is just a fantastic event. The booth has just been awesome. I think you should get Minecraft because it can help you learn a lot of stuff about school and a lot of things that'll help you in life and it's just really fun to play. Games for Ed, check them out over at gamesfored.org.